Hello everyone, this is Shivani here. Welcome to my channel Shivani Creations. Today I am showing you how to make this beautiful and very gorgeous paper quilling Ganesha idol. Isn't it looking very beautiful? Can you see this? How tiny it is looking. It is coming on my hand very easily and it's super cute. So I will share all the details about how to make this complete Ganesha along with the backdrop pan this is a quilling pan and it's very very easy to make as well so without any delay let's start with procedure first i'm starting with making the face for this i am taking four strips of peach color in 5 mm and uh, my one strip length is 45 centimeters so i'm just making one big tight coil for the face i'm just stacking the strip behind another one to make my work fast now securing the end and then taking one pencil and making one cone now shaping it using my fingers slowly do it very carefully otherwise your coil may open and now just twisting the trunk in one direction like this so the face is ready you just need to add glue inside this and allow it to dry here I have prepared the head portion using 4 strips of 3mm dark brown color and I have just created a dome shape using my mold and added glue on this as well now I'm just joining both the pieces together and making the face So this is done, keep it aside for drying. Now here I have prepared some more tight coils for the body. So these two big tight coils are made using 12 strips of 5mm peach color and this tight coil is made using 6 strips of 3mm peach color. Now I am just making dome for all the coils. The bigger coil I will use for stomach portion and the small coil I will use as a chest portion now I'm just adding glue inside each dome Then here I am starting with ears. So here I have this tight coil which is made using 4 strips of peach color 3mm. You just need to pinch it like this. And exactly in front of this pinch again. So the ear is ready. Similarly I have prepared one more. And making little dome. Not very deep. Just little bit of dome. So we have to add glue inside both the domes and uh, spread it using brush. Now taking back the face and I am going to stick the ears on both the sides. And this is done. I have attached the another one as well. Now taking back these domes and I am just going to connect these big domes with each other. And then on top of this I am adding the smaller dome. And then we just need to connect the face with the body so I have already added B6000 glue with the chest and sticking the face on top of this hold it for some time and it's done so it will look like this then here I have prepared one more dome using six strips of purple color 5 mm and I'm going to attach this in the bottom so I've already added glue and then just sticking it. 
it should look like this then I'm starting with making the legs so here I have prepared this tight coil using three strips of 5 mm purple color and I'm just making a cone using pencil then shaping it using my fingers add glue inside this cone as well similarly I have prepared one more dome using three strips of 3 mm purple color and I am just going to join the dome on top of the leg so the complete leg will look like this and in the same way I have prepared one more leg now to make foot I am taking two strips of peach color 3 mm and making one tight teardrop shape and I am going to connect this teardrop with the leg Similarly, I have attached the foot with the another leg and this is done. Then I am taking one cardboard piece which measures 8 by 6 cm and I am going to wrap one pattern paper on this cardboard piece. Here I am making the base for our Ganesha and uh, it will look like a part or pata. And this is done now just taking back the Ganesha and sticking on top of this then I am also going to connect both the legs one in a standing position and the another leg will be in the sleeping position like to dry completely then I'm starting with making the hands so here I'm taking one strip of 5 mm peach color and I'm making one cone shape Add glue inside this cone as well. And sticking the palm with this, the palm is also made using two strips of peach color 3 mm. And this is the uh, front hand where I have added two cones and added the palm. And with the Ganesha, I have already attached right hand. This is also made using two cones instead of one and added the palm for the Ashirvad pose. So now I am just going to attach another hand. But before that, I am going to make the Pagdi. So here I have two dome shapes which are made using four strips of light blue color 3 mm. I have just wrapped golden color strip around these domes just for the decoration now taking back the Ganesha and I am going to stick the Pagri on the head in the cross panel now 
then I have this fan kind of shape I had just added blue color strip in fan shape folded the back part add glue on this folded part and stick it on the pagdi and also I have this 10 mm blue color strip I have added one golden color strip exactly in the center so it will come on the back side of the pagdi Now I'm just attaching the another hand and after drying I will add these two hands as well. So here is the complete look of the Ganesha. I have attached back hands as well like this. Now here I have this dupatta. I have joined three strips of 5 mm orange color with each other and one golden 3 mm strip for the edging. So just adding the dupatta on both the shoulders. First I am attaching on the right shoulder, then cutting the excess strip and then going to attach on the left shoulder. So this is done. Here I have added some ornaments using some ball chains, some stones, using pink and golden color. So the decoration part is all up to you how you want to add heavy jewelry or light jewelry. It's about your choice. And the teeth are made using one fourth strip of white color 3 mm. One is pointed and one is flat. It's looking very very gorgeous. Now I'm starting with making the lotus. So for this I am taking one fourth strip of pink colored 3 mm and making one bended leaf shape. So I have already prepared one more bended leaf shape and one simple leaf shape. And I am just joining all three shapes together. Then I am taking one small piece of light green color strip just folded this in half add glue inside this. First stick your straight leaf shape with this and then on the both side I will add bended leaves. And the lotus is ready. Now I'm just going to stick the lotus on another hand. Then I am taking one strip of yellow color 3 mm and making one tight dome shape for the laddu. And sticking the laddu on the another hand. like this then I'm just making the eyes using my permanent black marker doing it very carefully like this then I'm starting with the backdrop so here I have prepared this template on 10 by 10 centimeter rough paper of pan shape and I just traced it on green color cardstock this is 300 gsm cardstock and then I have done the quilling on one part now I'm showing the quilling on another part as well and the template of this pan is given in the description box so you can just download from there for your reference now I am taking here dark green color strip and just making the loops in increasing order according to the size of the pan shape. So here I am making the small one for the upper part. So I am just measuring it according to the size. 
then cutting the excess strip securing it with the glue and just twisting it so in the same way I have pre already prepared some more loops according to the size of the pan shape for some loops I have used two strips for some loops I have used one and half strip and also one strip so according to the size you have to take the size of the strip and also I have created in light green color as well with the same method now I will just going to add these loops alternatively that first I will add the dark green then I will add the light green and so on So here is my complete look of pan shape and it's looking very very beautiful. Now taking back the Ganesha and here I have just decorated the face with the tikka and some design on trunk using red color gel pen. And then I'm going to just stick the pan shape on back side. So adding glue in the bottom and sticking on the back side and just holding it for a few minutes. Then here I have these two cute paper red color flowers. They are looking uh, like hibiscus flower which is the favorite flower of Ganesha. So I am just adding these two flowers on both the sides of the pata for the decoration. Like this. And a beautiful very gorgeous paper quilling 3D Ganesha idol is ready. And uh, I'm sure you will try this before Ganesh festival and you will enjoy the process as well. So that's it for today. Hope you enjoyed my video. Please subscribe my channel for more interesting videos. And don't forget to click on bell icon for the latest updates and notifications. I'm waiting for comments. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye bye.